There's been Caro some pretty damning things said uh, on the other on the other borders on the other side of the borders today against Victoria. Mark McGowan is one of those from Western Australia and some uh, Sydney shock jocks as well. Take a listen. He comes back from his native island. He goes into a two-week quarantine, which he must. Then he broke just about every AFL rule they'd put in place in relation to isolation. So, to my way of thinking, this McKenna typifies the attitude of many Victorians. The rules don't apply to me, hence we have what we have now. The current situation in Victoria is dire. It's extremely concerning. Reimposing restrictions like Victoria has had to is the last thing I ever want to do. And that is the front page of the Courier Mail, and a no failed prizes state. for guessing who that failed state is, Sam. <laughs> yeah. That's Victoria, where clearly at the moment, as we sit here in the footy classified set, the scourge of the rest of the country. Mark McCown is, is obviously very concerning. Great announcement out of West Australia tonight about crowds returning to the football, yeah. but we still don't know what the case is with the fixture, which won't be announced now until later this week. The Port Adelaide and Adelaide teams have elected at this stage to stay in their hubs up north and not go back to Adelaide, not fly in, fly out. But um, Port will make a final decision when they know who they play at the end of this round of games. It, it is just all over the place. And I think West Coast still don't know, although I think the AFL's top level execs were working tonight still on some sort of assurance that the West Coast players, should they go home or when they go home, do not have to quarantine in a hotel but can in fact go and quarantine at home. It's going to be a nightmare for the two Victorian teams or uh, New South Wales teams who go to Perth because they'll have to live in a hotel, Matthew, not mm. leave that hotel at all except to train and play against the other team who goes yeah. over. So that's going to be a big outcry on the two teams who draw that short straw. It's um, a tiresome debate, but if there is a full stadium and optus stadium for the grand final, it has to be played there. Like, we, we, we know now that there will be no crowds in Victoria and you might kick back Caro here and say... We don't know that. We don't well, know we there do. will be no the, crowds the, the, in October. The, po the possibility of crowds in Victoria is very minimal compared to what it was two weeks ago. We know that they're opening it up to the end of July, 60,000 at Optus. We've seen on the TV how bad the spectacle is without crowds. We've seen how good it is at the showdown with just 2,000. I'd much rather see 60,000 in the grand final, and the players, I think, deserve it. I'm with Kane on this one. I'd rather see 60,000 full at Optus than 20 or 30, even 1,000 at the MCG in a 100,000-seat stadium. That's not a great spectacle. I absolutely agree yeah. with you, but I think this is changing daily as we know, and I wouldn't go the early crow just yet.